description of it. But it's a good prototype. Sorry. Hey, this is Mike with Make, and I am hanging out with Greg, the CEO of MarkForge here at CES 2015. MarkForge does uh, carbon fiber 3D printing. So tell us, why carbon fiber and how? Okay, the why is, uh, well, because it's cool. <laughs> no, but really what it is is normal 3D printing, you have plastic. So this is a part of a race car. And the, you know we print in plastic and then we reinforce it with carbon fiber. Plastic is great if you want to check fit and form. But if you want to put it on a racetrack and use it, you need to have the function, you need to have the stiffness. So this part is has a higher strength to weight than aluminum, okay. right? So you can use it, right? And so this, uh, if you want it in plastic, this is a nine dollar part. In fiberglass, which is a little heavier, it's a fourteen dollar part. But go ahead and bend that thing. I mean, that's uh, yeah, it's pretty stiff. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. Yeah, right. And then for nineteen dollars, you get carbon fiber, so you get the strength, but no weight. No weight. Oh, this is super that's lightweight. Great, yeah. But this thing, and I and I was playing around with this one right before we started filming it. This thing, you know, you, you can see a little bit of flex Normal in plastic, there. Yeah. Um, but this guy, with carbon. Yeah. super light, no no flex at no all. Way. That's that's wild. And there's just uh, six layers of carbon fiber. Is that correct? Yeah. So we have so we have here. We show the process of making this part. So it starts with uh, three layers, 100, mic 100 microns each, of nylon. Then up here we do three in next layers of carbon. We have a whole honeycomb structure in the middle. We do three more layers of carbon. We top it off with plastic. This is all automatic. So you hit go, and then like seven and a half hours later. You scrape this off the bill plane. You wash off. We use a little glue to hold it down. This is not sanded. This is just this is how it comes out, right? Then you put it on your race car and you're done. So this this quadcopter, uh, we designed and printed it in two and a half days. Wow. Right. So this is it's made in two halves, right? It's reinforced with fiberglass. It has wire channels that run through it. The motor mounts are embedded in it. As are if you see all these little kind of dark points, these are captive nuts to screw in these bolts. They are so we've printed up to the top of the nuts. There's a pause function that's automatic in the software. You click it on, it'll shoot you an email. Hey, come add all the parts to it. You put the little parts in it, you hit resume, it prints the top on it, you scrape off the part, boom, done. So the, the nuts are actually encapsulated They're into in the, the plastic, plastic itself. In the plastic. That's brilliant. I love it. It makes it a lot easier. So, you, I mean, first of all, you know, this is, it's, it's an arrow thing. You want to have a smooth outer shell, but you need that hard mounting point that you can really screw into. Yep, absolutely. Yep. So um, you've got a few different things on display here. Uh, some uh, it looks like yeah, uh, so we got some, a some wrench. So we made this as a tech demonstrator for uh, for our friends who go to space. And uh, this one we've uh, we've sanded the bottom away, so you can see the uh, nice infill pattern. You can also see in this one we've embedded an RFID tag, right? So like uh, let's say you're you know GM and you want to track all the tools in your cell. You want to make sure you have everything there. RFID makes it nice, yeah. right? So here's an orthotic that we printed. This has a uh, printed in pressure sensor, so you can sense the impact of each step. It also has an RFID tag, so you can make sure you know yours is yours. What's cool about this is, uh, with all orthotics, you get like the fit and the form, mm -hmm. you know, to contour to your foot. Right. But by being able to control the fibers, how many you put in controls how stiff it is. The angle of the fibers controls how your foot will go through the stride. So think about the motion aspect of it. Yeah. Some people, let's say you roll in. We have this one reinforced with fibers on the outside to correct that roll and give you a more neutral stride. So my sprained ankles, yeah. thing of the past. Thing of the past. Right. <laughs> and the cool thing is, because it's all you know computer controlled, when you dial in that right fit, you have it for life. Right. And when you get a new one, it's exactly the same. It's not like uh, it's not custom handmade and like nobody knows how it's going to come out. It's the same every time. Got it. So tell me a little bit of the the geeky technical stuff. How do you actually 3D print with carbon fiber? How does that work? Oh, it's a mystery. <laughs> no. But uh, so we print, we print with nylon. We have two heads. We have a nylon print head, which puts all the form around, and then we have a uh, carbon print head. We'll do either carbon, fiberglass, or Kevlar, uh, one at a time, and it will uh, it essentially melts the fabric into the part below it, right? And that's how it, that's how it. And when you, the key thing is when it comes out of the printer, there's no post curing. It comes out done. Right, so when this part, there's no, there's no nasty chemicals. You know that one's printing. You don't smell anything. It's not giving you cancer, right? right. When it comes out, it's done. And this is our cycle tester, right? So everything, everything that we build, every new plastic. So Tony is our chief, chief scientist. Tony comes up with all these different plastic blends, right? And the way we figure out if the plastic is awesome or totally sucks is to first we print with it and figure out like you know baseline. Uh, something's failed in that that test. Things that pass the will it print test we go through the uh, Instron. So we have an Instron that's back at home, and it does three-point bend testing, gives us a stress drain curve for every new formulation. Once it's past that, you say, okay, it's good on the day one. Is it gonna be good five years later? 
cycle tester, right? So now that cycle tester usually lives in an environmental chamber. We take it down to negative 73C, up to 120C, and we beat the crap out of everything, right? And then you iterate, right? And that's how we refine the plastics that we come out with. So you guys got some hardcore science behind the stuff you're working on. Tony was the chief scientist for A123. Yeah. If you've ever used an A123 battery, you can thank Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Great, yeah. So um, the printer itself, uh, available now? Available now. The lead time now, uh, they've been shipping for a couple months. Lead time now, I think it's like 17 weeks. Great. So and, it's uh, $5,500. It's available either at uh, markforge.com. We're also setting up a whole reseller network. Uh, buy through your resellers. They're great people. <laughs> great. And what's 2015 hold for you guys? More printers. Good.